Hey everybody, okay, so here what we have here, what I am showing you here is a three monitor display set up on, an, uh, on a late 2014 Apple Mac mini desktop computer. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is because what's interesting about this setup here is a couple of things. First off, we have um, with the late 2014 Apple Mac mini model, they... I don't know anything about any of the Apple Mac minis after 2014, so that's why I'm saying with this particular one, this late 2014 Apple Mac mini from the factory, out of the box, you're only able to hook up by default, you're only able to connect two monitors to it. It only gives you the option to have two, um, and you can that can be any combination of HDMI, DisplayPort or Thunderbolt or whatever that is, and I think they're I think that's it. And you can use um, like a HDMI to VGA or VGA to DisplayPort um, connector to you know connect those to the back of the computer. But otherwise, it only allows you to um, to connect two monitors to have two going at the same time. And, uh, however, if you want three, what you have to do is you have to purchase an adapter that will let you connect a monitor into the back of your computer. And what it does is it converts it into USB. And then you plug that connector into the back, into the USB slot in the back of the computer. And then you have to go on the website, the website of the manufacturer's website for the connector and download the driver for it. And then on top of that, Apple, what I have learned is that Apple, out of the box, they send the, their, their, um, their computers out to their customers, whatever. Out of the box, the computers are set up to block all third party, non Apple product. Uh, it, it basically what it does is it blocks the computer from being able to read the drivers and it doesn't tell you that so you, you kind of have to figure that out on your own or call customer support um, for these companies that sell these connectors and they'll walk you through it which is basically what I had to do I got a connector here for my third monitor from this place called uh, this website, it's j5create.com. And I got this one right here. It's this one, I bought this from Best Buy. The price on their website's kind of steep. Um, I only paid $60 for it, they're charging 80. $60 I think is still kind of steep, but I thought it was worth it for being able to hook up the third monitor to it and it's fully functional. Um, the monitor doesn't flicker. It, the, the computer still, the power hand from the computer still handles it. The power supply still handles it very well. Uh, there's no delay. I mean, it's it, it's perfect. It runs perfectly. So, I guess it's worth it. It was it was worth it, and I and I learned something about in the end about how, you know, to get a third monitor on a computer that doesn't normally support that. So it was cool. Yeah, I highly recommend this if you're trying to do something like this. This uh, J5 Create website, they have all different types of connectors that you can get, all different types. Uh, they, they have HDMI to VGA, VGA, um, I don't know, they have a lot. You have to go on their website and check it out. But um, The other thing too that I wanted to show you is I have a glass desktop here My my for my computer and you can see I have the monitor mount the third monitor is mounted underneath the glass face up so basically what I can do here is see I'm dragging my mouse my mouse pointer around on my main monitor here and my second monitor I have in portrait mode so I can yeah you know, right here I was doing a math assignment for my uh, math and logic class I was taking a pretest and um, here you can use your, we can use our notes you know to kind of walk us to kind of help us through some of the questions and on my um, my Google documents I have a long document with all my math notes 
I think I got like, it shows, I got 22 pages worth of notes so far in the class. And this portrait mode is really nice because you can scroll through and find things a lot easier and faster. So I like that. Um, and then I have it set up so the mouse pointer just goes right through to the side into the main monitor. And then if I want to go to the third monitor, I just go down. See, I got it, I got it connected. The monitor set up so it goes down. Here, it's kind of hard to see. So watch, watch the pointer, it goes down. And then it comes right up on the desktop there, see? So it's pretty cool. I like this idea because it saves space on the desktop. And then if I'm not using the third monitor, which I don't always do, I can lay stuff out across the desk and, you know, take up space that way and do whatever I got to do. But if I really need it, I can move stuff away and, you know, then I got a third monitor. Um, so yeah, then you go down, you can see right here is like the, the main page for, uh, my labs where we got all our math assignments on. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, so that's basically all that is. And then right now I'm running a Mac OS operating system. This is Mojave. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the connector does, Mojave does support that. Um, and then, so if I want to get the dock that shows up right here on the bottom, Normally it shows up on the on your main display, which I technically have this set up, this one right here set up as my main display. And the dock usually shows up. But since I, I have the dock set up to show up, so when I put the arrow down at the bottom, the dock is supposed to pop up. But since I have a monitor connected down there, it won't do that. So in order to get that to pop up, I have to go down to the to the bottom monitor on the desktop and then come down here and it pops up right here right in front of me like that that's pretty cool i actually like this because it's you know a lot, a lot closer to my eyes i can see it like right away it pops up right in my peripheral vision right, right down below and i can just decide you know what i want to open and if i want to open i don't know microsoft microsoft word that kind of pops up on the main monitor here by default right here and then I can, you know, drag that, move that. Like if I want to move, let's see, I want to move this. Oh. Okay, so here we go. I can, you know, if I want to move Microsoft Word down here, I can move, let's see. I could maybe bring that up to the main display and then maximize that. See, yeah, I can have, it's pretty cool. Um, and then again, yeah, I can go down here, check my dock, see if I want to open anything down there. But yeah, it's, this is cool. This is, this gives the desktop right here back its true name. This is the, <laughs> the epitome of desktops. It's both the physical and the physical desktop and the actual desktop. When someone says drag that to your desktop, <laughs> I can literally do that. I can drag it both to my actual computer desktop and it be my physical desktop at the same time. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's a fun setup. It's been working pretty good. At first I thought it would be kind of, you know, kind of weird having to look down, but it's it's actually really nice. The brightness of the display, it comes through really nice. There isn't really too much glare from the other display. So yeah, it, wor it works pretty good. So yeah, that's that. Three monitors. And the late 2014 Mac. Hope you enjoyed it.